Hello, and welcome to Sadler's Wells Digital Workshop Series. My name is Paul, and I am a resident artist for Matthew Bourne's New Adventures. New Adventures is an associate company of Sadler's Wells, so it is a great pleasure for our company and for myself to be with you today in your homes or wherever you may be. Uh, this workshop is aimed at the over 60s, but it's really accessible for anybody. So if you want to invite your friends or your family to join in, please do so, but maybe at a safe distance. Our company is really passionate about telling stories through movement. And in, in the next 30 minutes, I'm going to guide you through some of the different styles and movements that we do in our productions. We are going to start with a nice easy warm up to get our bodies going. I don't know if you're anything like me, but I'm feeling a little bit stiff from this isolation. So we're just gonna limber up. We are then going to have a bit of fun looking at one of the dance styles that we use in a few of our shows. It's a bit different for, from contemporary dance for those of you that are more used to that. So I hope you really enjoy doing that with me. And then we're going to look at some of the choreography from Matthew Bourne's most iconic production of Swan Lake. To start with, I just want you to make sure that you've got a nice safe space. So if there's a cat running around, get it out of the way. I don't want anyone tripping up. If there's an expensive vase, we definitely don't want that being broken. So just make sure you've got enough space around you to dance in, to move in. And if you've got anything going on in your body, any conditions, any injuries, please modify as much as you wish. I'm going to start seated in, seated in the chair for the beginning of the warm up and then get up, but you can stay in the chair for the whole thing if you wish. There is so much choice for you today. You do as little or as much as you want and really listen to your bodies. Only you know your body. Uh, I'm not there in the room with you to help and to guide, so really be sensible, be safe, but most of all, let's be creative, let's move and let's have fun. So, just starting, seated or standing, finding your position and sitting up nice and tall. And I thought it'd be brilliant for us to wake up and engage our minds and our bodies today before we start. Uh, because I feel a little bit sluggish in this isolation, in this, in this world that we're in right now. And, and it's, it's harder to get motivated and to, to, to think about being active. So here are a few things that you can try just to wake up your body. We're going to start with our fingertips tapping on our head to wake up the brain and the face. So just tapping like light droplets of rain, putting as much pressure as you want, quite rapid tapping. And we're just tickling our skull and our forehead and our temples. Oh, it's quite a nice feeling. The vibrations going through my skull. Maybe I take the tapping down onto my cheeks, onto my nose, down onto my chin waking up that face, maybe onto the top of my head. Nice. And already I feel a little bit more invigorated. I can feel the blood underneath the skin. Great. Now let's think about waking up our listening. So we need to be listening to those around us, uh, listening to nature and listening to me today as I guide you through. Uh, so we're going to just take a finger and a thumb and just slightly stroke or tug. Uh, the ear, the earlobes, just to really think about activating our, our hearing today. Really. Now we're going to think about waking up our focus and our eyes. So to do that we're going to rub our palms together nice and fast. So be as vigorous and as full bodied as you want, but already this action is warming up my body, not just my palms, but I'm looking for some friction. Nice and speedy. Keep it going. And then all together, we're just going to lift those palms, place the heel of our hands onto our eye sockets, and just very lightly press. And feel all of that heat that we've generated going into our eyes. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Connecting in with ourselves, in with our body. 
all together as one, we will drop the palms, open our eyes, wow. It's like the whole world has become brighter and a little bit more focused. Gorgeous. Let's open our face and our eyes really wide just to carry on thinking about this idea of opening and focusing. Really wide. <laughs> and really small. Close your eyes really tight. Fantastic. Doesn't matter if you feel silly. No one can see you, hopefully. Let's open really wide. Open those eyes. And really small. Brilliant. Fantastic, everybody. Now we have woken up our bodies. We're just going to go a little bit more internal and check in with ourselves. Maybe we're neglecting a bit of time with ourselves at the moment. So let's pop one hand on our heart and one hand on our, on our belly. And closing down the eyes if you wish. Just listening to the sound of my voice as I guide you through. We're just taking moments to take a deep breath in through the nose. Feeling the breath swelling into the belly, into the side of the ribs and into the chest. And sighing that out. <sighs> Emptying from top to bottom. Breathing. Filling up the body with that life source, with the breath, with the oxygen. Breathing out, sigh, letting go. <sighs> Breathing in, sending the breath to any parts of the body that are holding tension. That might be feeling anxious or stiff or stuck. And as we breathe out, just let that all go. Feeling the muscles melting away from the bones. Soft, but supported. One more deep breath in through the nose. And think about what you'd like to achieve in today's workshop. Hold it in your mind's eye and then breathe out all of the things that you want to forget about for the next 30 or so minutes. Gorgeous. Let's keep the eyes closed. Drop both arms. Shoulders come up to the ears as we breathe in through the nose. And we're going to breathe out and Shrug the shoulders quite fast and bounce and make a funny ha sound. Ha 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 Brilliant. Let's not be afraid to make a noise to really release. Breathing in through the nose, shoulders up to the ears. Breathing out. Ha 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 ha. Gorgeous, everybody. Well done. Let's open the eyes. Flick at the moment. Let's carry on our breathing as we breathe in through the nose, arms circle around the outside, palms touch, look up to the fingertips, press the palms together as we breathe out through our prayer position to our heart centre, breathing in, opening the chest up to the sky, see the clouds or the sun and then press those palms together as we breathe out. Beautiful. One more deep breath in. Let's fold the arms across the chest and give ourselves a nice big hug. I certainly need one. Let's take the gaze forward as if we're looking over a cliff, hugging ourselves and maybe drawing a figure of eight through our chest or just having a little wiggle. Keep that beautiful breath going, connecting us all together today. Dropping the arms and rolling up through the spine slowly. Breathing in. Through the nose, the other arm goes over the top. Another big, juicy hug. Looking forward. Hovering over the cliff. Little figure of eight. Do what you need today. Feel that nice stretch. Breathing into the ribs. Drop the arms heavy. We're looking down heavy, skull. We're rolling back up through the vertebrae. One more breath for us today. We're breathing in. Gathering in that breath, clasping the hands, lifting up high and breathing out. <sighs> pushing the oxygen out of your body, expelling it. Pushing your palms to the wall in front of you. Curving in your spine and then recovering. That felt so good. We're going to do one more. Breathing in. Reaching up. Breathing out. <sighs> yes, brilliant. Make a gorgeous noise. Expel it all, release, and roll up. Lovely, everybody. Just 
adding some music in now. We're going to float one arm up, it doesn't matter which arm, and take a little side bend. Easy in the head, shoulder drawing away from the ears, and just a nice tap into our ribs. Just waking up through the side of the body. Ah, oh, gorgeous. And then just float that arm around, dropping it down in front of you. Place the hands on the thighs and then just roll back up through the spine. Other side, floating the arm around the outside, lifting up and over. Length through the side of the body, no tension in the neck. Give your head a little, little side to side action. Just a nice activation of those ribs, those lungs. Gentle tap. Curving around. And rolling back up through the spine. Taking the chin to the chest, we're just going to roll down through the spine. Breathing in, snaking our head forward, lifting our chest up to the sky. Breathing out. Curvy, undulating through, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, lovely, back to centre, let's take a little shoulder, and down, shoulder rolls, and down, breathing in, and out, great everybody, and reverse, breathe in, breathe out, Waking up those shoulders today, lubricating in those joints. Now a slow elbow backwards. <sighs> nice. Breathe. And out. Let's take a little scan with one arm, like we're doing backstroke. Beautiful. Nice big scan. Take the focus with you. Two more of those, big scan. And out. Breathe. Yes, gorgeous, using that breath, everybody. One foot extends in front of you. Let's just circle into those ankle joints. Really great, everybody. And swapping. Waking up those feet, maybe pointing those toes, giving them a wiggle, just getting that ankle joint moving. Brilliant. Hands are pressing down into the chair. We're going to take a little rock forward and rock back in our chair. It feels a bit funny, but it's really good. We are waking up our hips, taking a little bit more weight into the feet, maybe. Pressing down in the hands. Little snaky hips forward to the edge of the chair and back. One more, right to the very edge. If you want to stand up with me today, we will push ourselves with our arms onto our feet. Drop your skull forward. We are on two feet rooted into the ground. We're rolling up through the spine, nice and slowly to standing. Gorgeous. Here we are, softening the knees and stretch. Make sure your knees are tracking over your toes. We bend and stretch. We take a bend and stretch and bend and stretch. Lovely. Arms circle around the outside. Deep breath in. We swing and up. Breathe out. Drop the head heavy and swing. Let it go. Keep those knees bending nice and protected. Now, then, lovely. Take your reach through one arm and through the other. Reaching up to the sky and other arm. Reach side and side. Reach side. As far as you want to go today. Lovely. Taking those legs a little bit wider. We're going to take a little circle of the hips, a little figure of eight. Yeah, so drawing a little figure of eight with the hips. Keep those knees nice and soft. Maybe we want to do some circles of the hips. One way. Great. And the other. Really fantastic. 
Let's take a little twist. Just make it as small as you want. Just seam one side and the other. If you want to, you can take your fingertips to your shoulders, spiral, drop forward, center and up. Fingertips to shoulders, easy spiral, dropping forward and center and up. We're going to take a little throw of the arm, like we're throwing a discus. You do it slow, if you want, bending in the knees, We're reaching across, using your focus. Nice. Back to our feet underneath us, lifting the heel and change. Just trotting through those feet and change, and trot, and change, and trot and change. Lovely. Standing on one foot maybe if you want to. Hands can be here, hands can be here. Just trying to hold that nice rooted leg and change. Rooting down. Standing tall. Keep breathing everybody. Good. Shake it out. Shake it out. Fantastic. I hope you're feeling a little bit warmer. Don't forget at any point you can have a little drink of water. You can pause, rewind to any of this again. Take a break, it's up to you. Let's learn some swing steps. So in few of our productions, we use swing dancing in our choreography. Swing dancing from the 1940s and 50s. And I thought it'd be really fun for us to just shake it off, get a bit funky, get a groove on together today. I'm gonna move my chair so I've got a bit more space. I'm gonna teach you some swing steps. Follow along with me, nice and simple. We take a step, dig with the heel. Step, dig. Step, the upper body is nice and relaxed. Dig, step, then I'm just soft in my knees. We can add the arms, dig. Nice strong arm, step, dig. Step, dig, step, dig, step, dig. Yeah, very nice. Fantastic, everybody. Next step, shorty George. Glue those legs together, fingertips point down. We alternate, lifting those elbows nice and high. And then we're just gonna sort of pop the knee and kind of press through our heels, also alternating. Yeah, we can go double time. Shorty George, shorty George. Yeah, really great. Next step, easy, simple Charleston. I'm sure you've all done this before, the Charleston. So we go step, tap front, step, tap back, step, tap it front, step, tap it back. You can swing your arms if you want, do whatever arms you want. There's no right or wrong. I'm choosing to do this today, and step, and back. It's Charleston, yeah, and step, and back. Boogie backs are next. So maybe step forward so you've got some space behind you. It's just a little shift or a little jump or a little hop. We go shift, clap, shift, clap. We clap high, we clap low. Boogie back and low. And if you've got space, you can travel back, but be safe. I think we've got two more. We're gonna do trucking. So trucking is standing on one leg and we're gonna waggle the fingers if we're telling someone off. And we're gonna scoop the flexed foot. <gasps> Truck to the side. So we change foot and scoop, and then we scoop. It doesn't have to be a high leg. Just make it what you want, but have fun and have a groove. Last step, the turkey trot, a bit of a weird one. The legs go, step, bend, lift the knee. Step, bend, turkey trot, kind of funky. The arms go, lift, lift, like little broken wings. Like we're a turkey. I guess that's where the name came from. Turkey trot. We are going to try to put all those together. Do your best. I'm gonna pop some music on, follow me. If you get lost, just have a boogie. Freestyle. Let's do it, let's have fun. Oh yeah. 
Here we go. Step digs. Nice and slow. Step, dig. Step, dig. Step, dig. Nice. Double time. Here we go. Step, dig. Step, dig. Add the arms. Step, dig. Step, dig. Step, dig. Step, dig. Great. Shorty George. Down, down, down. Double time. Change and change. High elbows. Fantastic. Shorty George. Charleston, it's a step. And tap. And step. And tap. And step. And tap. And step. Let's double time. Yes, you've got this. And step. Tap. Or single time, whatever you want. Boogie backs. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Trucking. Nice. Scooping. Waggle the finger. Two more. Yeah, good. Keep that smile going. Turkey trot. Brilliant. Have we got that? Should we try that one more time from the beginning? Here we go. It's step, dip, step, dip, step, dip. Yeah, great. Nice and relaxed in the body. With the arms. Great. Shorty George. Here we go. Maybe in a circle. Woo! Let's do the Charleston. Here we go. Yeah, nice. Step. Tap. 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 Boogie back. So it's high. It's low. It's high. It's low, it's high, and low, and high, and low. Trucking, and scoop. Yeah, wag with the finger, and scoop. Turkey trots. Woo! And finish. <laughs> nice, the music cut out there. But we made it all the way through twice. Woo! I hope you're feeling as warm as I am. And I hope that was super fun. So nice to just dance to that music. I hope you're having a great boogie in your, wherever you are. We're gonna calm things down a little bit to finish and look at some of the choreography from Swan Lake, where Matthew Bourne took the idea of these beautiful, powerful swans, but with a twist where the male dancers play the swans. And today we're gonna to learn some of the movement from act two, from the white act where the prince first meets the swans. I've used some pictures to help you. They certainly help me. I'm a very visual learner, so I like to have pictures or, or a thought or a word in my head to help me remember the moves. The first picture and the first word we're going to look at is this. I hope you can see it. It's flap. The beautiful wings flapping up and down. So we start as low as you want your feet in any position you want. Head is relaxed. We're going to breathe in and flap and breathe out. Press the air away. Breathe in and breathe out. One more for luck. So nice and fluid but strong in the back and breathe out. Taking the focus up and then down. Great. That's flap. Our next word is going to be neck. So here we have this beautiful, long, strong swan's neck. There. Very simply, maybe you want to face the diagonal. The hand scoops up past the ear. You lengthen your arm nice and long and tall. Drop the wrist so it looks like a swan's beak. There's a reference. And then maybe if you are feeling like it today, you could stand on one leg and balance but two legs are fine. Sitting down is fine. Brilliant. That is neck. Our next word is going to be wing. So here we have the swan. It's covering its face with its wing. It's nestling in there. Beautiful. So wing, maybe take your legs a little bit wider, softening the knees. And you're just going to brush that arm across and my eye is just poking out above my arm. And there's some resistance 
as if I'm pressing through water for my wing. Big, expansive wing coming from my back. Beautiful. We have landing. Love this one. The landing step. So when a swan lands on water, it's quite clumsy and ungainly and it uses its big wings to slow itself down. So, our landing, our legs are just kicking, flicking the water in front of us as if we're landing in it. And then we're going to rock our body side to side and use our big wings to press the air away from us in big circles. You can do this as full bodied as you wish, work within yourself. Our last movement is beak. Here we have beak. Look at that proud, beautiful beak, those colours. We're going to try and emanate that. Our palms go together. The wrist goes to our chin and it's quite sharp this one, a different dynamic. Beak, as if there are predators around and we have strong focus and we're scanning our territory. This is beak. Great. We've learned those movements from the show and we're going to try them all together. So I'm going to pop on some music. Just follow me. I'll cue you with the name of the word and let's just give it a go. Enjoy this gorgeous uh, chance to become a swan, to just escape and to become something else and indulge in this breathy fluid movement. Here we go, let's do it. We start with our flap. We flap. And let's try one more. Flap. And neck. Thank you so much. So beautiful to dance with you. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Time has flown, so we have to call it a day there. Um, I really appreciate you joining and breathing and dancing with me today. And if you've really enjoyed today, then you can like or comment uh, on the channel. And please do join Sadler's Wells next time for our next digital workshop. All that's left for me to say is please stay safe. Make sure you have a bit of a cool down, some breathing to reconfigure, a bit of a stretch. Uh, have lots of water. Take care of yourselves in these times. Keep dancing, keep the joy going, stay positive, and I hope to see you soon. Take care, bye bye.